now discuss any other discussion. Yes. You know, when I read this, you know, my, again, this is, I'm completing my first year on the board. It concerned me a bit, and I wrote a letter on this that I'll pass out, and I'll read part of it, is that this part here that says that I will treat fellow board members with respect and consideration through civil discourse, exhibiting both honesty and decorum, whether we agree or disagree on issues. And, and being new to the board, I didn't have that experience at all. And, and um, so I wrote a letter that I'm, that I'm passing out that I wanted to read, if I can. Can I read this? Sure. And I just wrote, the, to, and this is to you, and, and of course everybody getting it. And I said, as we begin the new year, I would suggest that at one point in the near future, we schedule a courageous conversation session about race relations on the school board. You will recall that one of the protocols of that model was speak your truth. It is within that context that I share the following. After my first year of service on the board, I have been astonished at the insensitivity that has been displayed by select members of the board whenever the topic of serving our ethnic minority student population is broached. On more than one occasion, the, ina the, the interactions that I have had with members of the school board have caused me to recoil in shame and embarrassment. If we were in any other setting, I would have withdrawn my association long ago. I am, however, here by obligation as I was elected to represent my neighbors on the school board. And to that end, I wish to address the second bullet point uh, in our statement of ethics uh, that says I will treat fellow board members with respect and consideration through civil discourse. It has been my sad experience this past year that many members of this board have mistreated me not only in violation of our own ethical standards, but have done so, I believe, because of the complexion of my skin is different from theirs. This display of intolerance was not immediately apparent to me. Over this past year, many observers of the school board proceedings have commented to me that the degrading and demeaning manner in which fellow board members have treated me is due to the fact that I'm the only ethnic minority serving on the board and that I am insisting that the conditions for our students of color be approved. Upon reflection, one can only see this past year the pattern and practice of disdain displayed by select members of the board when it comes to addressing conditions facing our most ethnically diverse student population. The most recent example is the process we followed to submit the Race to the Top grant application in September 17, 2013. School board meeting, I raised a concern. As the elected representative of the majority of families that would have benefited from the Race to the Top grant, I offered stakeholder feedback on how we could improve upon the second round submission of grant application. My one concern about the process was rejected, and I believe is a contributing factor to our district not being awarded this grant. Moreover, the minutes of the September meeting are silent on the questions that I raised, which was a substantial part of that conversation. Yet, the one question raised by Caucasian fellow board members about how I obtained the 2012 evaluation were recorded in the minutes. The school board then went on to expand to expand an inordinate amount of time in subsequent meetings, wringing their hands over how a document is quoted in board meetings so as to avoid throwing out unanticipated questions in school board meetings. I believe that the students in my community are better served by a school board that cares less about adult hurt feelings due to unanticipated questions and more about educational outcomes of our most vulnerable student population. To that end, I am submitting this letter, which I mailed to the board president last week, asking that the issue of race to the top grant application process be placed on an upcoming school board meeting agenda. Additionally, I wish to submit a letter that I wrote to the speaker of the Utah House of Representatives on December 23rd. This letter is in response to the superintendent's letter to her dated December 17th. As you'll recall, the superintendent's letter to the speaker was signed by two employees of the board, you and the vice president. In that letter, the four of you accused me of being a liar and uncivil. The four of you further assert, quote, we have always been ready and willing and able to engage in deliberations with Mr. Clara, close quote. If the four of you really believe that and are blind to the abuse you have subjected me to over this past year, please take the time to read my response letter, which you will also which will also serve 
to substantiate the conclusions stated earlier. I ask that both of these letters be added to the proceedings of this meeting. In conclusion, in addition to my earlier remarks shared in the beginning of this letter, I am of the opinion that accusing me of being a liar and uncivil in response to my submitting six recommendations to the Legislative Task Force on Education is not in keeping with the ethical standards as set forth by this board. Moreover, by my December 23rd letter to the Speaker of the House of Representatives details the actions of some of the school board meetings over the past year that were not in violation of, that were in violation of the board's ethical standards, but were also in violation of discrimination policy set forth by this board. I'm hopeful that in 2014, this school board will commit to becoming more sensitive to its own ethical standards and treat the only ethnic minority currently serving on the board with the same dignity and equality that it's extended to its Caucasian members. I didn't receive this. <clears throat> it didn't come to me by email or by post. The what? what whatever about? letter you've stated in here. I did not get it's, it. I sent, sent you a copy right now. Well, okay, but you said that you, said you mailed, it last, mailed week. it last right. week and I did not receive anything. Okay, well, that's why I'm passing out now so that, you know, there's no it's reason to say that not, you don't have it. I'm, this is okay. okay. I couldn't hear you. What did you say, President? But I couldn't hear. I think the question was, did you did you really did, did she get a letter? Did you send her a letter last week? That's yes, I, I mailed a letter requesting to. Put I did not receive that request. Right. Okay. Okay. And that, and she's just saying she didn't get it. Okay. Well, that's why I passed it out here in this meeting just to make sure that it's received. Chris, if you're saying something, I can't hear you. I have nothing to say to you. You have nothing to say to me? I don't. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't hear what you're saying. I, I just have one thing to say, Michael, and that is the two different cases in this, this letter that you just read and that we allowed you to read. You used, you said that you were called a liar and uncivil. Mm -hmm. And I have the letter in front of me, and it doesn't use either of those words. So just to be clear about that, and since you've asked for these two letters to be attached to the minutes, I think it's important that we also attach the letter that you purport to be quoting in this. It's in there. I passed it out. I'm asking for that to be part of the The letter, the letter that we wrote. It's in there. You are purporting to be it's right on the It's on the last page, and I'm asking that that be part of the record. It's right here. It's double sided copies. Oh, the back of the letter. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay. Well. But you see, this is the thing when I'm talking about the, 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 the equity issue that I have here, is that you talk to me right now by saying that we allowed you to read this. It's like, I'm part of this group, and I should be equal and be treated equally. Right, but and for you, Michael, that's, 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 that's to read a letter that. like this saying that we are discriminating well, point, against you, are, you with your The race. only point that I'm making, you are is that you would correct. No, no one okay. said, you said, ma'am, read the letter. No <laughs> one see, said no. But, but, so. but that, that's the issue that I'm talking about right now, that when I express you know, took it. I, I have not said anything like that all last year, and I have people right, always right. calling me. Can I finish? Exactly. I have people always calling me and telling me that this is why I'm being mistreated. And so I said, you know what, this year I'm this, I'm going to bring it up and, and say, okay, this is what, what I'm doing. But you're still insensitive to that. So it doesn't no, I'm not insensitive so, to so, it. Let me finish, please. So okay. when, when, when I'm just saying this, Sorry, is, it, right is it as an ethnic minority, I'm outnumbered here, all of you are Caucasian, and when I do bring stuff up, this is the reaction that I get, is that, you know, that you discount my words, and so I'm representing an ethnic minority community that also feels um, that, that they're being marginalized by the decisions being made in this school district, and every time I have tried to bring those issues to the forefront, I get my teeth kicked in. And that's all I'm saying is that I'm saying, look, if you guys are going to talk about ethical standards and you're going to say that, you know, let's vote on them and approve them, I'm just pointing out, you know, you're not keeping them even in this group. And I'm asking that maybe you can exercise a little more sensitivity. And even just saying that, you know, gets you upset. No, I think that what's interesting is that you would like us, you know, that you would like us to be sensitive to you, but in return, you don't re, you don't reciprocate because you certainly aren't sensitive to us. The things that you say in the meeting, 
you know, whether it's you know, to our base or on your blog or in letters, that is absolutely, in, you know, you, you say things that are inflammatory, you say things that, you know, are uh, hurtful, critical, you know, all of those things. And so when you say that we're insensitive to you, Michael, you know, you at many times are very insensitive to all of us too. So sure, I mean, let, let's, let's level the ground. Let's make sure that, that that doesn't happen, that we are sensitive to one another. I'm more than willing to always say, what can we do differently? But for you to say that we discriminate you, discriminate against you because of the color of your skin, I haven't seen that happen here in our board. I'm but sorry, you're not brown but I'm sorry. You're not brown skin you, either. So, so, okay, you know. thank you. All right. So let's go around. So thank you for discounting what I I'm not said. discounting it. I, I actually, did. how did I discount it? Actually, what I said was that I understand. Laura? You called me a hypocrite for saying well, that I was Well, because you're not sensitive either. Like so I'm right. discriminating against you as a, is that what you're saying? Well, I've been on this board this my 16th year, and we have had board members of diversity. And I've never felt that there's been any discrimination at all from staff or from fellow board members. So we have been on this board together for a year so far. And I think one of the things that you try to do intentionally is get people's emotions going. And you have succeeded tonight by insulting everyone here this table, certainly the rest of the board members. And I would like to ask the rest of the board to just stay calm. Yep. Because we are being insulted. It is being videotaped. We have been told we are discriminating against Mr. Clara because he has Latino heritage. This is Mr. Clara's reality. I do not think Mr. Clara is making this up. No. I truly think Mr. Clara thinks we are discriminating against him because he has a different ethnic background, as if we all have the same ethnic background, which is clearly not true. But I, I have to just make it clear to everyone on the board that it's okay if people on this board have different beliefs, and I truly believe that when, when you are using language like you are being kicked in the teeth, that is your feelings. You really feel that way. Even though by saying it that way, you make everyone else at the table extremely emotionally upset. But you don't care about that. I know that. And that's been demonstrated time and time again. So you have said the way you feel. We have listened to the way you feel. Personally, not speaking from the board's point of view at all, I think you're wrong. I do not think you are being discriminated because you have Latino background. You have brought certain ideas to the board that have not caused three other board members to say, I agree with that. I vote for that. You know, whether it's the precinct or the district thing. I mean, because that's really what it's all about. It's just you have a majority vote. You know, you, you try to set direction for the district. But I do not doubt that you feel that way, but you are living in, just uh, speaking only for myself, a really different reality from me. Because being elected to a seven member committee that meets in public means you come. You speak your mind, you try to get a majority of people to agree with you, and if you don't, then you're definitely not going to carry the day, but it has nothing to do with whether or not you have a Latino background or not. But it's okay if you feel like it does, even though my reality is really, really different from yours. So, anyway, so I would, I would like it, even though we are all, I am, I am, very upset by what Ms. Clara has said, but it is not in the best interest of the Board of Education for us all to just be upset. You're right. Anybody else? All right. 
We have a motion. We have a motion on the table. So any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. Right. 